In this video, I'm going to show you how to put the unit circle on your TI-84 graphing calculator. Now, this is typically the unit circle that most students use, and it has like the 30, the 45, the 60 degree angles all the way around. All right, now, the 45 degree angles, all right, are the easiest to remember because they're all square root of 2 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, all right, and the only thing that changes in each quadrant is the positive and negative signs, all right. Now, that the 45 degree angle we are not going to be able to put on without cluttering up what we see in the graphing calculator. So for that reason, then the unit circle that I'm going to show you how to put on is going to be a modified version. It'll have your 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, <clears throat> etc. But it's not going to have those 45 degree angles on there because those are easy enough to remember. Square root 2 over 2, square root 2 over 2, and just change the signs. Those are not hard. The ones that seem to be a little bit more challenging are the 30 and the 60 with these ordered pairs. And these ordered pairs are what we are going to be able to see in the graphing calculator. All right, so if we come over here to our graphing calculator, first thing we need to do is make sure that it is all set in the right mode. All right, so you're going to come in here to your mode, and you're going to scroll down to where you've got a choice between radian and degree, and you're going to go over and you're going to select degree because these are degree modes. All right, then you're going to go down one more, and you're going to select parametric because we need it to be in parametric equations. Okay, then you're going to go and put some equations in. All right, now hopefully you know that this ordered pair, each one of these ordered pairs, the x coordinate represents the cosine and the y coordinate represents the sine. So in which case the x here needs to be cosine, so I'm going to do cosine of t and close that parentheses. And then since the y coordinate in that ordered pair is my sine, then I'm going to set my y here equal to sine t, close that parentheses. All right, now we are going to want it to display correctly in our window, so let's go make some changes to our window setting here. Um, we're going to start at zero, and that 360, that's good uh, for t max because there's 360 degrees in the circle. <clears throat> down here on the T step, all right, since I do want 30 and then 60 and then 90 and then 120, then I've got to count by 30s, all right. For my X min, I want negative 1.5. For the X max, I want 1.5. This is just going to set our window up so our entire circle shows inside our window. Now, for the Y min, we want a negative 1. And for the Y max, we want a 1. All right, now we should be able to then at this point hit graph. And we have somewhat, you can see those little points going along there, somewhat the matching points that go around this. Okay, now if we trace around the curve, all right, as soon as you hit trace, a little cursor comes blinking up right here. It tells you T equals 0, so you're at 0 degrees. Your X coordinate is 1, your Y coordinate is 0. All right, which is that ordered pair right there. If I arrow to the right, then it's going to hop up to the 30 degree mark. <clears throat> okay, so then the x coordinate there, square root of 3 over 2. All right, you do have to recognize that those are um, what those would be in, like square root of 3 over 2, what the decimal equivalent is. All right, and then 1 half obviously is 0.5. So it tells you right there at 30 degrees, your x is 0.866, which is the square root of 3 over 2, and then y is the 0.5. All right, so in other words, the cosine of 30 is the square root of 3 over 2, and the sine of 30 is 1 half. If I arrow to the right, it gives me the coordinates of 1 half in the 0.866, which is reversing it. I can go all the way around the circle. There's 0, 1. There's negative one half and square root of three over two. And so you can go all the way around the circle and you can real quickly find your values that you need. All right, if you need to go back there. All right, so just a real quick handy way of getting that unit circle on your calculator in case you need to quickly check some of those ordered pairs. Um, definitely, thanks for watching and be sure and share with your friends.